In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to use the pan and zoom controls within the Action Camera Center. The Action Camera Center is where you go to create a very quick time shift, or you also can go there if you're interested in creating a freeze frame. Let's look and see how that works. I have my video and it's in the media room. When we're going to apply anything by using the Action Camera Center, we have to use the clip in the media room and not on the timeline. So with that highlighted, I'm going to click on the plugins menu at the very top. And from the drop down, I'll choose Action Camera Center. Now we notice we have two categories on the left side, the time shift and the freeze frame. Let's look at pan and zoom within the time shift controls. Now I'm on the right tab, the effect tab. I'll expand our time shift. And we can create a time shift anywhere by clicking on either the button in the upper section of it or just above the area below. I'm going to move my time indicator to a frame like this one, and we'll create the time shift by clicking on the button. Let's create a time shift, and we're going to expand the amount that we adjust, something like that, and we'll do a speed effect. We could also do a replay, but we'll do the speed, and we'll change the speed to 50%. I can use a slider to drag down if I want to be precise. I simply type in a 0.5 that will slow it down by 50%. I can also use the ease in or ease out if I want to. And here I have my normal time shift. So if I move my time indicator prior to the time shift and we play it, let's see what we get. We's cutting the board and then it slows down 50% and then it will speed up again to normal. Okay, let's say we want to do some panning and zooming within the time shift. So all I need to do is make sure that my time indicator is somewhere within the time shift segment. And then we're going to drag down and see that we have a zoom and pan option. Now the default is zoomed in about 50% centered on the screen. In order to make this active, I need to click on the diamond with a plus that will set a keyframe. Let's go back just a little bit right here and we'll just click on that and that will add a keyframe. You notice the yellow mark that we have right there. What I'd like to do is do another keyframe. So I'm going to move to another place and you notice if you look on the left panel it expanded it because it's trying to get it back to normal size. So I have to make it smaller and unfortunately I can't duplicate the previous keyframe so I have to approximate the location and the size of the crop and zoom but I can click on there and now I created a second keyframe. So right now these first two are somewhat similar and then if I want to create another one I can move wherever I want to and create another keyframe in this case, I'm going to click on the, the box with the double arrow. That will turn it to the full screen size. So I have three keyframes. On the first frame, it will zoom in. The second frame, it will approximately hold that position. The last one, it will zoom out. Let's play it and see if it's going to work the way I expect. We click on the play. We look in the previous screen. It zooms in, stays about the same, and then zooms out. So that's using crop and zoom within the time shift in the Action Camera Center. We're going to zoom back up here and turn off the time shift and open the panel for the freeze frame. So let's move somewhere else in our project and do the freeze frame. I'm going to move the cursor over here and we'll click on add freeze frame. Again, we can click on the button in the upper left or the one down in the lower left. So we'll click on this one. and. Let's freeze it. We'll set a duration. Let's go three seconds. Now we have a button to say apply zoom effect. I'll click on that and now I have this pop-up. This gives me a screen that looks identical to what I had before. Uh, I'm going to zoom down and tighten it up a little bit more. Right on the blades. And now I have my zoom in. Now the effect will either apply to the last play or the first play. Let's go for first play and see what that does. So I back it up and then we're going to have a three second 
one, two, three, and it goes in and out. Let's change the variation of that to last play. And let's try this again. We'll play it again. It will move to that. One, two, three, and out. Now you notice one limitation we have when we're using a freeze frame along with the crop and zoom is that we can only set one keyframe. I cannot zoom in and then hold it and come back out. There's a workaround where you can create a time shift in a different way, but that is not by using the action camera center. If you're going to do a crop and zoom in the action camera center, you're limited to one keyframe using this particular method. Those are the two ways you can apply crop and zoom either in the freeze frame or in the time shift in the action camera center.